Rubino. Rubino is interesting. I've never been to a city like it. It's beautiful. Like everything is beautiful. The people are nice. And here in Rubino, everything was so close together. It was super convenient. Everything's slow here. So, not in a bad way, but you just stop and enjoy it. Rubino is so safe that little kids are around the town without adults. So, Rubino, for me, it's beautiful. Cut to the seat. But um, yeah, it's really beautiful here. You see the change in the season. Everything here is have like a big sense of community, big sense of like you, you hear everything that's going on in the town. Just open your window and you will see and hear every single thing from the church bells, people socializing every night. It's a beautiful place to live in. And I don't regret like coming here all night. As a U.S. university, it's very important for us to produce graduates that are well-rounded and we see a big part of that well-roundedness being uh, to provide opportunities to study abroad in European setting. Uh, that being the case, our objective is to create graduates with uh, a high level of cultural IQ uh, and they can do that by living and being part of a local culture, especially in the country of Italy. As far back as Raffaello referred to Urbino as the ideal city, and we, we agree with that uh, and by design of the city itself and by the location. You can get to anywhere you want to get to in Europe. The students have a lot of free travel time uh, and they take full advantage of that. And this is a good springboard location to go on uh, weekend trips throughout Europe. We see the study abroad is important to all disciplines at the university, not just the design disciplines. While it's, there's a clear association with the, the founding of many of the arts in the country of Italy, uh, we see it as very important to all disciplines at the university, liberal and fine arts, architecture, uh, design, uh, business, law, whatever discipline, there's an application here to uh, investigate in Italy. The transition from the Bologna airport all the way to Urbino, it was easier than I thought it was. It is not complicated to get from the airport to Urbino. In fact, you get off the plane and you'll see a professor, GEV staff, or students waiting for you. Everyone waits at a meeting point and once everyone is there, we walk together to the bus and the bus brings us to Urbino. We give to the student a full support for their daily activity. We advise them anything they need and we help them to organize their extra activity and their independent travels. I did my study abroad when I was 19 years old and uh, I ended up to finish the university in the United States and work a little bit there. So I've been living in the United States for more than five years and uh, it has been a great experience for me, it really changed my life. I believe it's important for everybody to have an experience to study abroad. It can be in any part of the world, any country of the world. I think it's important to stay abroad 
from that country as long as you can. This gives you the opportunity to better understand the culture, the language and the people living there. The staff in uh, Urbino is great. Uh, they take care of all the logistics. to Italy, I honestly thought it was going to be really hard. I was terrified of getting lost. I thought I'd miss the bus. I thought my flight would be late. But honestly, it's just, it's so easy to navigate the airports. All the signs were in English. I was surprised to see that. Um, and they really do give you good directions on how to get there. So it was terrifying to come and I thought it was going to be a horrible experience. But honestly, my arrival wasn't bad. It was pretty good. I wasn't really scared at all when I first came. Um, I wasn't scared ever. I've always loved traveling. Traveling is something I've always done and I've always loved to do, and that's why I chose to do a study abroad. Like if people are very hesitant on doing it, I suggest it even more to do it because it's it's really a different experience than anything of like America. The culture is different. The people are different. Um, they they like the outside, and Americans don't. <laughs> I miss home, but uh, as my time here shortens, I'm, I'm starting to miss the fact that you know I could walk outside um, and I'm right there onto the street and there's you know everyone is there. So just the, the life of uh, Italian life here, especially in Urbino, it's a very small town and you can walk outside and everything's really close to you. I'm gonna miss that. I'm gonna miss uh, the culture here. You can walk places. People like to walk in America. Everyone drives, and so it's like. It's nice to walk and you get to experience everything, so I'm going to miss that. The public transportation in Italy is fantastic and it's one of the things that I really encourage all the students to make the most of while they're here is to experience what it's like to just be able to get around in this very flexible, very comfortable way of doing that. The most beautiful experience I had during this trip was when we went to Milan and we were supposed to get off at this one stop or on the metro but we got off at the wrong stop, we got off the stop later and when we came out it was the Duomo stop. So we came out of the stairs, like the first thing you see is the side of the Duomo and it's so beautiful and I was like, dude, what the heck, it was crazy. Honestly, probably some of the best memories I've got would probably be Waking up in Venice and being just a few steps from the water and smelling the water when you'd wake up and then you get out and you're on the water and being able to to live in a place that adapts to their environment so well that really makes this place home is, an, is just amazing. At some time after a couple of months they feel like Rubino is their home and they go travel around Italy and Europe uh, during weekends and uh, during the breaks, and then where whenever they come to Urbino, they feel like they got back home. To travel to different places in Italy, even to Europe, um, it's very easy from Urbino. There's a bus that can take you to the rail systems. There are uh, very, very cheap airline flights. It's very easy to get to other locations to travel, even just for a weekend trip. Um, as far as finances go, with just within just the program itself, um, I felt that we had everything we needed in our dorms. Um, if we didn't, we would have to buy like like little like, shampoos and stuff like that. But that's something that you do regularly, so it's not an extra expense that you would have. Um, but we had all that we needed within the program as far as meal plans, um, to eat at the cafe, at the mensa, and stuff like that. So we had all that we needed to be like, to live. We had it here. that uh, the experience in Europe, uh, typically in Italy, uh, could change their, their uh, life work. Yes, I, I enjoy a lot because uh, they are very fresh, they are very curious and I think it's, it's an experience for a teacher to be with people which is gaining day by day new, new experience. You know? I always tell the student that during their experience in their study abroad over here, uh, they're gonna see many things that are much worse than in the 
compared with the United States. But at the same time, there are many things that are much better than in the United States. Both of the experience, they will be very important for their future because they will appreciate more what they have and they understand that it's working very well. At the same time, they will be aware of the fact that many things can be changed in a better way and they will know what and they will know how to do it because they saw it. So I believe this is one of the strongest experience they will bring with them for their future and their career. At the end of the semester, they become as a family. The students aren't being catapulted into the unknown. They're going with teachers they already have and teachers they have experience with. So all of us are on the faculty at UTSA, and most of the students have had some experience with us. Um, I have several students I've found out who have elected to be in my spring studio when I go back uh, to UTSA as if they haven't had enough of me already. But uh, this is uh, sort of like being in the family when you're here. I think if you're nervous about doing study abroad, I would say like put that aside and think about all the cool possibilities, like all the cool friendships you can make, the places you can see. It's kind of scary to like learn about yourself and put yourself out there, but I think it's so worth it. Mm -hmm. And like, mm -hmm. it's just, yeah, it's worth it. I find that the nature of the program enriches our capacity to engage others who are different than us. Others who are perhaps um, uh, we're unfamiliar with. This program, what you guys provide, is in fact part of their education as opposed to something which is separate from. Here, the entire nation, the entire country of Italy is the studio, is the classroom. I made friends, which is something I thought I could never do. And um, not only that, I've made friends for life, I think. I love all the people here okay. and they love me back and I'm very sad to go home. <laughs> I'm so glad that I got to spend my last semester in college, which is a, such a great group of people. That's it. <laughs> I'm proud of you, and I'm and proud of you, and I'm, I will bring you all of you in my heart. Aww. Aww.